Well, the Vilna Troupe is probably the most famous Yiddish literary theater company in Europe. It was started at the beginning of World War I. Uh, Leib Kattison had a thriving uh, set design business and sign painting business and icon painting business in Kovno, Lithuania. But the Jews were given 24 hours to evacuate. They came to Vilna and of course it was overcrowded and they moved into, it was Luba, my teacher Luba Kattison, she had a, an older brother and an older sister and their mother and then they had to move into an apartment where there was already people living in there, it was an old woman living in there. and. They, they, because of Leib Kattison's work as a, uh, an artist, um, people came to him and said, hey, listen, why don't you give you a little subsidy? Why don't you start a, a theater company here? And so he did. And that became the Vilna Troupe. And the first play that they did was a Sholomash play, Der Landsmann. And this was in 1914, I believe. And then, you know, only six years later, they were premiering the most famous Yiddish play of all time, the Dibbuk. Luba's father, Leib Kattison, directed many plays for them, but the Dibbuk was directed by someone with a background in Hasidic Jewish history uh, or life, family, named Dovid Herman. And her father did all of the sets. And Luba started, you know, as a child, like Seymour Rexide and like so many actors in the Yiddish theater, they started as children. Um, she would, if they needed a kid in the production, she was born in 1906, so she was, what, eight when the company started. So she was always the, the child. One of her first big roles was playing a young Spinoza. And, um, and then Joseph Buloff, and he writes so beautifully about um, how he had a terrible wartime experience and he was from Vilna and uh, you know there were pogroms and the death of family members and poverty and starvation and he was conscripted by two different armies and he got a big gash in the side of his face but still whenever he could he would try to perform in plays and he remembered one time he got some small role he really asked to take part and as Buloff became the actor who, no matter how small a role that you gave him, he took all the focus because he was just so talented and he remembered um, having a few lines and he had a chicken on stage and everybody started laughing and he, uh, he just felt alive and all the pain, the pain that he was experiencing at that time of living in wartime Vilna just disappeared and he felt alive and happy. and. Um, so much of the foundation of that company was about finding a reason to stay alive for artistic personalities in the worst circumstances. And they did their work at all costs when their pay was potatoes, literal potatoes.